the recent increase of the residential de minimis from 250000 to $400,000 has caused a great deal of concern about the demise of the residential appraiser. This presentation is designed to clarify the true impact of this change. In August 2019, the FDIC raised the residential real estate de minimis lending level from $250,000 to $400,000. But this change only applies to a federally related transaction. An appraisal that is going to be completed for or used by a government-sponsored enterprise is not generally considered to be a federally related transaction and will not affect the appraisal on those transactions. An appraisal going to one of the government-sponsored enterprises, such as Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, are not federally related transaction, so this change in the de minimis will not affect those transactions. Prior to the change, most mortgages were for amounts less than the de minimis, yet lenders continue to demand appraisals despite this exemption. One of the reasons why lenders continue to use appraisers to complete appraisals is that appraisers can carry errors in emission insurance, which gives some recourse in the event of poorly developed appraisals. Wall Street continues to demand an appraisal as part of the reps and warrants package. Many lenders prefer to have an appraisal completed over the alternative evaluation as part of the safe and sound banking practices. The results of this change for many residential loans will be minimal. While there is a great deal of concern about the impact by raising the de minimis levels, the demise of the real estate appraiser has been greatly exaggerated. If there are no material increases in foreclosures, then we're likely to see an increase in the number of evaluations that are being completed or appraisal waivers being offered to borrowers. So what will the impact of the increase in the de minimis mean to the boots on the ground appraiser? In the short run, we believe these changes will have a minimal effect. In the intermediate, we believe that they will be manageable. Long term, it remains to be seen how these changes will affect appraisers. In the long run, it remains to be seen the impact of the changes in the de minimis and some of the other changes that are taking place. Yet appraisers do have the ability to adapt and provide a broader range of valuation sources to meet the changing needs required by the market. While changes are happening, the appraisal development will not change. The way that data is collected for an appraisal and the variety of appraisal reporting formats are likely to change, and evaluations will become a larger portion of the valuation service market that is required to fill the gap with the increase of the de minimis level. As technology increases, the proliferation of automated tools increases. Drones are expected to be able to effectively measure the exterior of a property. AVMs are routinely used as a valuation tool in modeling values. And measurement standards are becoming more of a significant issue as data collectors are employed to collect physical information about properties. 
the appraisal qualifications board is actively involved in developing a new standard to assist appraisers in obtaining practical experience that they are calling PERIA. It's the practical applications of real estate experience that should be rolled out within the next year or two. So why does the FDIC see the need to increase the de minimis level? What other changes does it present? And what are we going to do to prepare ourselves for the ever-changing valuation world in which we live? Change is inevitable, and resistance to change is futile. As in Disneyland, we take the journey based on the ride we select. So is the increase of the residential de minimis to $400,000 the end of the appraisal civilization as we know it? Probably not, but it does mean that changes are afoot and that in order for appraisers to remain relevant, they must diversify the valuation services that they provide and must ensure that their skill set and the valuation products that they provide are the most reliable.